Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so happy that you made it back today. We have so much learning to do. So let's start our day with a song. I have my friend here to help us. Ready? Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Lara for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brain strong, like super strong. So come along, yes, come on friends, for some learning and some play. All right, let me put my friend away and we'll go through our visual schedule. So we're gonna do our emotional check-in and I've been sharing songs with you about feelings that you can maybe sing at home that'll remind you to check in on how you're feeling. You want to do that throughout the day, not just once, and check in with those around you too. And then we're going to move on to our weekly investigation. So we've been focusing on Eric Carl's The Tiny Seed, the story about a little seed that is much smaller than the rest, but then finds its perfect soil to grow into what it's meant to become. And then we'll sing our goodbye song. Before we go into our activity, I do want to tell you that we will be getting messy today and painting and making an Eric Carl flower. So hopefully you can join me on that activity. All right, let's see our feeling shark first. I was going to say, let's see behind the board. Not yet, Miss Lara. Okay, let me get our feeling shark first. Okay, here we go with our song. Now this song is kind of like the song that you might see that's very popular, Baby Shark, but it's Feeling Shark. Ready? Feeling Shark, do, 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 do. Feeling sad, do, 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 do. Oh, so bad, do, 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 do. Wants to cry. Feeling happy, do, 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 do. Wants to dance, do, 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 do. Maybe smile, do, 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 do. Wants to jump. Now he's silly do 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 also silly do 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 makes a face do 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 makes me laugh. So remember you can do that song with any way that you're feeling. I'm sure that your parents would love to hear you sing that. Okay, now it's time for our board. Let me give you our letter clue before I turn our board over. Are you ready? Here it goes. Okay, so for our letter today, we're going to need a big line. It's going to go straight down and then a little curve right at the top. All right, so that letter is the letter P. That's right. P for plant and P for paint. We're going to do painting today and we're going to make a plant, a flower. So let me flip my board over. So I can tell you about our plant life cycle again. So our plant life cycle, remember we start with a tiny seed and sometimes you eat seeds. So you eat like a sunflower seed that you might put in your mouth. It tastes delicious. Some seeds you plant and grow flowers out of. And then it becomes a seedling. Now remember I reminded you that a seedling is when the seed barely starts to show some green that the plant is starting to come out, but it hasn't broken to the surface yet. It's still underground. And then the plant becomes a sprout. So a sprout is when the plant is very green. It doesn't have a flower yet. It's kind of small. In our story, the tiny seed, our tiny seed stayed a sprout much longer than the other seeds, didn't they? And do you remember what happened to the other seeds when they bloomed? That's right, someone came and picked the flowers. That's how our tiny seed was able to survive. After their sprout, 
then they become a full-grown plant. They're much taller and they have stronger roots, right? They dig into the ground. They might even have a flower. And then that flower produces seeds, which then makes seedlings, then sprouts and flowers, and the cycle goes on and on. That's what makes it a cycle, is it happens over and over and over again. Remember, we learned a little bit about cycles and sequencing when I showed you that you do that every morning when you brush your teeth. I wonder what other cycles you do every morning. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to our activity tables. We have so much to do here today. So for today's activity, we're going to be making a flower like Eric Carle's flower using the same kind of painting technique he used to illustrate his books. So you'll need paper, paint, scissors, and any painting tool of your choice, including your fingers. Now remember, if you use your fingers or any other space, you want to make sure that you run it by an adult and you stay clean. So for me, that means rolling up my sleeves. I have many shirts that have paint all over them. Okay, so Eric Carle's style of art was he would prepare his paper first. So I'm going to move this off to the side. He would do that by using different tools. So today I'm going to use, let's use some yellow paint. And I'm not going to be fancy and use a brush. I'm just going to squirt it right on. It really helps if you make like large dollops of paint like this. I'll show you here. And then you're going to use your tools to make it interesting. That's what Eric Carl did. He used his tools to kind of prepare the paper. So I'm using a fork. So I brought one from home. Now your family may not want you to use a fork from home. You might have to use a plastic fork like this. I have both, so I'll just use this. And actually I'm gonna just start scratching at it. Oh, it's making such a fun noise. And see what it's doing is it's just creating a lot of texture on the paper. That's what Eric Carl did on his, created a lot of texture. So now I'm going to add maybe some red in there. Do you remember what colors is made when you add red and yellow? It makes orange, that's right. Now I have another tool that I want you to try at home. This is a piece of cardboard that I cut from a cereal box. Now this is my favorite tool because it has really beautiful effect when you use it with paint. I'll show you here in just a minute. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? The color on the bottom kind of stays and there's an overlay of the other color. So you can use that to kind of move it around. You can use your fingers as well. Just remember that you're wearing clothes that you can get dirty. I know that um, I always use safe paints for children in my classroom, but they always got messy and parents didn't like having to wash the clothes with lots of paint on it. Sometimes it wouldn't come out. All right, so let's use one more tool, a spring. What might this do to our paint? Ooh, it's creating lovely lines rotating all over. So when you're done kind of playing with your tools, you're going to end up with paper that looks like this. So I'll show you, like this, nice and dry. Now, do you remember in Eric Carle's book, he had a beautiful giant flower made with this kind of paper, and that's what we're gonna make today. Now, to make your flower, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is draw on your design. So if I think of the flower parts that we've talked about, I'm thinking petals. So petals are kind of like this. Now, does your flower have to look like mine? Goodness, no. Your flower can look any way you'd like. And remember, Miss Lara's been doing this a very long time. So I can make them pretty quickly, but you don't have to. And then you're going to cut out your flower like that. Just cut all around it like that. And you're gonna get left with something that you can put on your board. Now I wanted to show you that I did it with green paper as well, like this. And what you're gonna do with your green paper is you're going to make some leaves. Now if you think about a leaf shape, hmm, there were all shapes and sizes, weren't there? So you have to think, what shape and size leaf do I want? 
So I want a very large leaf that takes up most of the paper that looks like this. So then I would cut that leaf out to make my beautiful flower. And of course I would need a stem, so a rectangle like this. All right, and then the last thing you wanna do when you're making this project is you wanna prepare a background. So Eric Carle used a background that's kind of spotted like this, and he used lots of different colors. Now you can do this kind of spot technique in different ways, but here's how I did it. So how I did it is I took a little bit of paint on my brush or on the paper. I'll just put it right here on the paper. And then I just dipped my brush in there. And this is the fun part I'm going to show you. In just a minute, I'll lift it up so you can see it a little bit better. You take your paper and you kind of go like this with your brush and it leaves all kinds of dots. Oh, I'm glad I did it a different color. I would hate to have it be just black. And you can even dot it on like this so it looks kind of sporadic and dotty. And this, when it dries, is the paper that you're going to use to make your flower with. Now, boys and girls, I don't want to show you what my flower looks like because what tends to happen is then you want to make a flower just like mine. And I, don't, I want you to use your imagination and think about what your flower looks like. Now, if you do make a flower, I'd love it if you'd send a picture here to the station. And if you send in your address, of course you get one of these booklets full of lots of activities for you to do at home. So I hope that you do that. Looks like we have just enough time to sing our goodbye song and close out our week of learning. So let's see if I have time to flip it around. I think I might. Now, boys and girls, I don't say this often, but this song is in sign language. Sign language is a whole other language. So Miss Laura speaks Spanish, and this is a whole other language for people who cannot hear. Who having a hard time here with this. Here we are. All right. So let's sing our song. I'm glad you can see the letters. There we are. All right, here we go. It goes like this. A, B, see you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. So I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and tune in next week where we're going to have some more learning, some more friends that are going to join us to sing our songs. And hopefully I'll have some pictures to share with you guys. Until then, Miss Lara is going to remind you to give you a big squeeze and a big smooch and remind you to read to learn and play and to use your five senses and imagination every single day. Until next week, boys and girls, goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for every.